Okay, sample final Chem 110B, this is problem number 11, this is the uh, radioactive decay problem. A new radioactive element is produced in a reactor, a 0.192 gram sample of that element decays, leaving only 0.092 grams after 124 days have gone by. What's the half-life of this radioactive element? Remember, you're always going to use start over remaining is equal to 2 to the n, where n is the number of half-lives that have gone by from the starting time to the remaining time. The time when you started uh, uh, the, the mass, you know, you measured the mass and then time went by and then you measured the mass that was remaining. All right, so how do we go about doing this problem? Well, when we set up, you can see that the starting amount is right here. And then after 124 days, this is the remaining amount. So start jumps in here, remaining jumps in down here. Remember that has three sig figs and that has two. And all of that is equal to two to the n. All right, now what? Well, we know what this value is. We can calculate that. That's 2.09. 0 0.192 divided by 0 0.092 is equal to 2.09. And all that is equal to 2 to the n. We need to find what n is. The best way to do that is to take the log of both sides. The log of 2.09 is log of 2.09, and then you take the log of 2 to the n. How do you solve that? You do this. You punch in log, then 2.09, it equals, remember this is log, not natural log, not ln, and you get 0 0.320. That's what the log of 2.09 is. Algebraically, the log of 2 to the n is the same as n times the log of 2. What's the log of 2? 0 0.301. So 0 0.301 times n is equal to 0 0.320. Divide both sides by 0 0.301, and what do you get? You get 1.06 is equal to n. 1.06 is the number of half-lives gone by in that 124 day period. Now what we want to know is the half-life, one half-life equal to how many days? Well we know that 1.06 half-lives, just over one half-life has gone by in 124 days. So we set those equal to each other, take 124 divided by 1.06, and you get 116 days for every one half-life. But up here, that was a two sig fig problem, so the answer really can only have two. So 1.2 times 10 to the two days for every one half-life. Excellent. Now, as cool as that problem is, you're not going to see that on a test. You're going to have to be able to solve for start or for remaining. They're going to give you the rest of the information. You have to find the starting amount of and mass or the remaining amount in mass. Where do you find those problems? You find them right here. Quiz 13, Chapter 15, Exercise 15C. So that's where you need to go. That's where you're going to focus most of your work. Okay, practice up on those. Good luck.